Happy Woods, Dad Betty Biker! Um, this is my first vlog in nearly a year. Uh, I've got earplugs in, so I'll probably shout. I do apologise. Uh, I'm trying to sort out my microphone again, so I'm not too sure if this will actually record well. If not, it will just be a rather boring music video. But hey! How's everybody been? I know I do have to apologise, it's uh, been a wee while since I've vlogged. I think the last one I uploaded in fact was uh, me getting the SD650. I think that was my first video. Uh, I haven't actually vlogged since getting forgetting it. Uh, so that was August, September I was just out getting used to it. October I was out a few times. Uh, one of the, the times I went out though, I actually had a, an accident. Uh, I was coming up to a junction. Oh, was it with a few of my biker pals? Uh, came to a junction. I think we, we originally we went the wrong way, so we thought, you know, I'll go jump in this wee, this wee bit and turn. You got, you're going to go for a red light. Funny. Uh, I thought we'll turn in this wee junction, but uh, me being a, a short arse, uh, I tried to turn the bike and try to move off. I actually put my foot down and the ground was a wee bit lower than what I'd anticipated, so I fell off. But you know that way, you know where you're going, so I just kind of went ugh, so I didn't fell off. Uh, the bike actually landed on my leg. So I was kind of stuck under it, I had to wait till my pal got off the bike behind to help me lift it up. You know, struggled a wee bit to lift it. <laughs> He's like, I can't lift it. Well, well, really, what do you want me to do? I've got a bike lying on my leg, I'm kind of stuck here. So I managed to lift it just enough for me to free my leg. Then we just did it up. So damage-wise, eh, big thanks to RNG's crash bungs. Pretty much saved my bike. Uh, the bearings were great, there was a wee bit of a... <laughs> there was a wee chip at the, the front on the nose. Uh, my left mirror is a bit stuck at the back. I broke my indicator, but apparently it doesn't keep up to the right end, so... My pal was a boy who had an SV, so he had a spare indicator, which I, I got off him. Is it with dogs and bikes? Eh, uh, so sort them turn was an indicator. Over, and the gate was fine. Eh, uh, I was, I was all right. I know a wee bit shook up. It really knocked my confidence. Eh, uh, I was a wee bit sore the next day. I expected where a bike landed on the top of you. Eh, uh, wee bit sore. Well, other than that, it was fine, but as I said, it did knock my confidence a little bit. So, I wasn't really it wasn't the late, I was out the bike at all after that. Uh, I was out the bike on February, I think it was. February, no, March, maybe. I've done the York Hill Easter egg run again with my brother uh, in law. And, uh, oh, big news as well about that. My brother was the owner of the Thundercat I was working on. I think in the last videos I was telling you it was just you know, a couple of wee bits to do with. Well, got it sorted up. Uh, my brother paid the, the money to fix the bike up for him or the parts he used. It went for its MOT. Past first time with zero advisories, I was chuffed to bits. So that's back on the road, running great. She was looking good for a rage anyway. I've done a, a few hikes with my SV since August as well, you know, I was I had short levers put on it, which are great when you're a magic like me with high hands. Uh, it's got the dark coloured screen, which is cracked, I think I've got either a stone or a bug or something. Uh, no, I've got the whole exhaust on it, I've got crash bombs. Uh, I took off the, you know, I've got no rear seat, uh, just a seat kill, so... What I'd done was 
uh, I took the rear pegs off and bought a Evil Tech exhaust hanger. Uh, so I've got the pillion pegs, and I'm never going to take a pillion anyway, let's be honest. So I've got rid of the pillion pegs, saves a bit of weight. Uh, I bought a Evil Tech uh, tail tidy as well, so it's tidied up the back end, it looks quite nice, quite good. Uh, I've got new brake lines as well. I went to the bike show down in Birmingham in November, my, my yearly thing. And I got some good ridge brake lines, go in the dark baby, oh yeah, because I am still a child. How do you go in the dark, it's amazing. So, got some glow in the dark brake lines. So, other than that, the test is doing great. And I know you're probably looking for them, that's not an A species, on no. Because, two weeks ago, well, that I went on Sunday there, I went and bought myself a new bike. I was originally going for a, a book to Sunday off work to go and see the superbikes up at Milk Hill. I went last year down in Bruxton for a birthday, so I thought I'll go to Milk Hill and see it because I was supposed to go, I think, last year, the year before, and slipped in five hours for it. Never mind, that's just going for another day. Uh, I think going up hill and actually went down to just outside of Manchester to buy a new bike and once I get rid of the national speed limit I'll tell you all about it. Right, so I went and bought myself a new bike. I have bought a Ducati Monster 600 Dark. Probably what's the just from the beginning kind of it. I know that I've probably mentioned it all about that Ducati Monster. So, I finally saved up my money and I bought a Carry Monster. So this is the uh, third time I've been out on it. I love it. It's less power than the SV. I know the SV is some 78 great horsepower. This is all like 50 something, 58. Oh, there's a small capacity, so my 600 650. But it's I got up it. That's a good test ride for a boat. I just went down and looked at it. Where, well, I'll tell you the story. Right? I was going through like, a, a bad few weeks, you know, nothing was going right. Uh, you know, it's yes, what days like that when you can't be bothered and you're sick of everybody. So, uh, I came home one day, I was a bit upset. I've been looking for a wee while, so I'm staying the, the daily rounds of Gumtree, Yacht and Trader eBay. I went on Oak Trader and seen this bike listed. And I thought, what? Oh, that's not a bad bike. It's actually done 13,000 odd miles. Uh, it's MOT recently, it's the belts done last year. And uh, you know, the new tyre, heat grips, and I thought, oh, it's actually quite good. So, I was talking to my mum about it. And, I don't know how things were, I gave the guy a call and spoke to him and I was going to work on him the next day and I actually uh, went and professionally hired a van for the Sunday that I booked off to go to Superbikes. I phoned the guy up and I said to look, I'm going to come down and look at the bike, I won't get down until the Sunday because I'm working. Uh, I've got a van booked and he's just asked me to do it, man's rent is one, I said well. If it's the way it's described in the picture and it's to my liking, I'll be taking it. So, went down on the Sunday, left about 20 past nine, but just outside Manchester for half one. Then, went to the bike, the guy was really nice, liked the bike, and the bike was loaded onto the back, signed over, and off I went. So, I only had it just over a week, but to be honest, I love it. Is is it better my SV? I I've always loved my Italian cars. I always loved my Alphas, and my Ferraris, and things like that. Yeah, I always wanted a Ducati. That was one reason why I got the bike license. So uh, it was worth the trip, worth the money. And fair enough, it's a bit stuck around the ages, but it's a 14 year old bike, I'm not expecting it to be transpired to you. So, 
apparently they're going, they're going to get the field tank painted or they're going to chip some paint off. Uh, I had to replace the mirrors because they did match and I'm a bit a bit of sucker for both my mirrors to match. So one had that one and the other one had a round one so that's been sorted. Uh, I've got shorty levers coming because my levers are the spans too big for my little hands. Uh, the back brake doesn't seem to work very much. I changed the fluid just yesterday, the day before. Uh, changed the fluid in it, that was fine. Uh, it's still not great, there's just a bit of zero feel in it. Really shed any weight to uh, speed off. So I've changed the fluid, led the system. I took it down to uh, a mechanic friend today, he had a look at it. Brake pads are fine, plenty of material on them. Uh, pistons are free, so it's not even as if the pistons seized. So what they're actually thinking is, uh, because like, maybe it's done D40 or something been sprayed on. Onto the, maybe look around about the, the bike, the, the rear end, and some it's, it's quite the best, and of course that's going to uh, contaminate the pad, so. I've got new pads coming, I'll get them in the later. So, a couple of days with new pads, hopefully that'll be it. I know I'll speak to a few people, the catty brakes aren't great at the back, but when you live on a hill, you want your back brake to work a little bit because you can't always you know, feather the front brake very much in case you drop the bike. Uh, so, just minor wee things. So I'm very, very happy with the bike. So I need to actually get a bit of cleaning, but not about it's dry this morning. And being in Scotland, it's, you've got to take every dry day as you can. So, uh, so that's really what's been happening to me. As I said, I've not been able to put out much in my mess. The, the weather hasn't been great in Scotland. It's pretty much rain every single day. I haven't even had a chance, I've been uh, trying to fix up the car a bit and get that. So I'm trying to fix that up as well. And so it's just money, money, money. But yeah. Oh, another thing I've got to fix up is the headlights. I've just got them twin Dominator headlights. Um, they did alright, but it's like a catty monster. It's got to have the round headlight, the big dish one. So. I need to get a new one of them. So I'm debating that to ask my mum for a, a light from her birthday or not. And see how that goes. Well, it's either that or a tattoo, so who knows? There's probably more chance of a light than my mum buying me a tattoo. So, uh, so other than that, there's not much else has been happening with me, as I said. And, um, still enjoying my new job. I'm only, I'm only off three days, but that, sorry, I only work three days now. Because so it's four days to go out on the bike, but as I said, it's not really good the weather to go out on the bike. Because of this rain, it's, it's depressing. But it is, you know, it's sitting there. Perfectly good bike, the garage can't even go out or in on it. And as far as I know, I'm not going anywhere on holiday on the bike either. I remember last year I went to Hollowpool when I went to the bike. <laughs> that was so much fun. Uh, I so I change next month, but we'll wait and see. So, I shall let this all go. I'm enjoying my, my little trip, scrubbing my Maria tyre. We've got another 40 odd miles to go before Maria tyre scrubbed in. And I'll hopefully see you not too soon in the future. Yeah.